Welcome to lab 6. We are going to make a change of direction in this lab. The last five labs have been focused on SAS, or Software as a Service, which is for users to interact with the software. Unfortunately, we're not going to cover PaaS, or Platform as a Service, due to the complexity of it. Instead, we're going to shift our focus for this lab to Infrastructure Services. You will learn how to configure OpenVPN to create a virtual private network. The goals for this lab is to configure OpenVPN in a Docker container, modify the server and client configurations, and then connect your laptop or computer to the OpenVPN server to access the internet as if you were in the location of your server. I am not going to describe all of the information in this lab, so I encourage you to read this information here. The first thing we want to do is to choose a VPN port. The default VPN port used by OpenVPN is 1194. I don't like to use that port because every network knows that somebody connecting to a system or accessing the internet on port 1194 is using a virtual private network. We want to be a little more anonymous. Here's a list of ports that I recommend. I'm going to use port 5005 for our example today. We're going to need a notepad to make some notes, so I'm going to start one right here. Let's call this port 5005. The first thing we are going to need to do is to open up the port on our firewall. It uses UDP instead of TCP, so let's do this now. So UFW allow 5005 UDP. And then we can enable it. and verify our configuration. And there is the UDP port that we are going to use. We are going to use the instructions and configuration from this blog post here. Most of it works. We have to make some configuration changes. This is a common problem with guides you find online. They might work on one server but not on another. Having a basic understanding of how Docker works and these other technologies allows us to use them. There are five OpenVPN commands that we will Run. We need to make some configuration changes to them. So I think the first thing I want to do is copy all of these commands and place them in my text document here. And then we can modify them, and then run them directly. These instructions use an OpenVPN Docker project on GitHub. 
we will clone the project. We will build the Docker image. We will create our directories for the volume data. And then we will create our OpenVPN running environment. These instructions use port 3000 by default. This video uses port 5005. Returning to our instructions, we need to replace pwd with root. This just prevents configuration errors if you are in the wrong directory. An easy way is to just replace all of them. So this says that we're going to create a volume in our root directory with this folder here. The next change is we need to get to our real IP address and change the port that we want to. So let's find the IP address of our VPS. Two ways you can do it. You can do IF config the older way and look for something that begins with E and then look for a public IP address. This one is an internal IP address, and this is localhost. So we'll replace the text IP address with our IP address. I'm going to put this up here for reference. And our port, we wanted to use 5005, so we'll replace this with 5005 and replace it right here as well. I think that we are ready to create our OpenVPN server configuration. The first thing we will do is clone the project from GitHub. It will have created a folder called Docker OpenVPN. Can verify that. There it is. And you can see that it includes a Docker file. So let's build our Docker image. Let's verify the image. And here you will see it. My own VPN built from Alpine Linux. We need to get back to our root directory so we can go up one level. Or we could also go to it directly. Now we need to make our VPN volume directory. We'll call it VPN data. We are now ready to initialize our OpenVPN server in Docker. The first command we want to run is this one right here. This command will generate 
the OpenVPN server configuration file. Next, we need to initiate our public key infrastructure. It is going to ask us for a passphrase to protect our private key. If you do like I just did and enter a simple password, then it's going to fail to create the private key. It's okay. We will just do it again. We have to remove our previous information and create a new PKI. Then we will just use these default values. Press enter and it will generate the key. Now we need to enter it again and one more time. Okay, we now have our PKI. Now we can run our OpenVPN survey. You can see that it is running on port 5005 and it forwards all of the requests to port 1194, which is the VPN default. It gave us an auto-generated name. I prefer to use my own names so we can stop it easily. We should change this. We will stop and remove this container. Then let's start it again using a name value. We'll call it OpenVPN. Now we can easily start, stop, or restart our VPN instance. We have created our server, but we don't have any users yet. We should create one. The default is user1. By default, there is not going to be a password. It's going to ask us for the passphrase that we selected. We now have a user. Our final step is to extract the OpenVPN client configuration to our VPS so that we can download it and then use it in our OpenVPN software on our laptop. Let's verify that the file exists here. And it does. User1, OpenVPN. Also, we can look at our VPN data. Here you will find the server config and our PKI values. This file, openvpn.conf, contains all of the server configurations needed for OpenVPN to operate successfully. We are going to make a few changes to this file. 
First of all, we want to be able to view the log file from our VPS without having to enter the running OpenVPN Docker container. We will change this path to be inside of our volume data. which is in Etsy, open VPN, and we will give it a new name. We'll just call it status.log. Another configuration change that we can make is to change the DNS survey. If you want to use Google's public DNS servers, you can leave it as default. I'm going to change mine to using Cloudflare, which is 1.1.1.1 and 9.9.9, .9 which is another one. This command right here, push compress lzo no, is what prevents it from working on Windows. We can't change it here. Instead, we will modify the client configuration. We can save and exit. We need to restart our Docker container for these changes to take effect. This is why I wanted to give it a name that we can remember easily. We can go docker restart open VPN. And now you can see our log is in this directory here. If we connect to this OpenVPN server, we can get the connection and log information. One more thing we need to do before we can connect to it using an OpenVPN client on Windows is to edit the user OpenVPN file. It's this file right here, user1 dot obpn. You might have called yours something different. On this line here, we need to enter a command that specifies that we do not want to use compression. This is all we need to do. So we will save and exit. What we will do next is download this file and use it to initiate an open VPN connection from our computer to this VPS. It's right here. You can right click and download. And I will save it in my downloads directory. Also, we could edit it using the built-in text editor of mobile Xterm. And here you can see our change that we made. This client configuration is going to connect to a VPN server on this IP address using this port and this protocol.